What's going on guys, Bassin' It Up Mafia here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, I do a little lone trip out to Marburg after work. Just a few short hours, I think I was out there for maybe two hours, two and a half hours at the most. Uh, came in just a little bit before dusk, but ended up getting on a good many fish. Just enough to make a video, thankfully. And also got a nice bonus Marburg Smalley in this video as well. At the end, I'm gonna break it down for you and show you everything we did that day and what I got them on. But without further ado, let's get this one on the road. Here we go. Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who won't have guns You are not as tough as <laughs> Let that one go. There she goes. After throwing around the shaky head for a little bit, I get up to this point and the wind's really rushing around it like crazy. So I decide to pick up the chatter bait and throw a little bit of a moving bait. It's good to cycle through baits like this, especially this time of year when the fish aren't quite spawning yet, but some are up staging. You can really pick off any roaming fish with moving baits a lot of times and then slow down for any of the others. Check that out guys, there's a freaking smallmouth. Off the old chatter dunk. Beautiful Marburg Smalley. About a 16 and a half, 17 incher probably there. There we go. Let's let that fat, fat smallmouth go. There she goes. So what I was doing there, this wind is really, really rushing around this point here. And that smallmouth was stacked up on the edge of that point, right where the wind's bushing around, rushing around real nice and easy. And I just threw the chatterbait up in there, and pulled it down along nice and easy, and she cracked it. So Z-Man jackhammer, half ouncer, clear water shad. One of my favorite colors. Now we're back to throwing the little shaky head, the little zoom finesse worm on a shaky head. Just pop it in along real nice and easy on the bottom. Thank you. 
another chunk guys third one of the night I'm getting into them pretty good at night even despite this wind oh he's peeing everywhere look at that solid one it's a decent one Another chunk. Is that her go-to? There's a dink. Well guys, we are at the portion of the video where I break it down for you and show you a little bit of what we did that day to get on these fish. That day, as you could tell, I'm sure, was super windy. I was having a pretty hard time keeping the boat in position and fishing right, especially fishing some of these smaller baits like I was. That's key this time of year in getting a lot of the bites to in a lot of finesse baits, especially since this year, the fish seemed to come up a little earlier than typical. And the water got so warm so quick, I don't think the fish knew what to do. So a lot of the stuff that I was able to get them on was finesse. I could hardly get them on anything moving. There was no crazy pre-spawn bite like there typically is. So that kind of sucked. No crazy chatterbait bite, no crazy spinnerbait bite. But what we did that day, since it was so windy, I also threw the chatterbait, did end up getting that small mouth on the chatterbait as you saw was throwing around that windy point and he so happened to grab a hold of it. The chatterbait that I was throwing is right here. This is a little Z-Man jackhammer, clear water shad in color, like I said earlier. This is one of my favorite colors all around, everywhere, not just Marburg, but that little guy works really good. This is the rod that I was throwing it on. This is a 7.3 medium heavy Enigma titanium series phenom with a 7.2 to 1 Shimano Scorpion reel. Now I got a Texas rig on there now. But that is the setup that I was using. I also have a 15 pound line on that. I typically always throw 15 pound fluorocarbon on all my bait casters, except for if I'm throwing heavier stuff, then I'll go a little bit heavier line but I don't like breaking off fish and I don't ever have a problem typically with 15 pound. And on the spinning rod, what we caught the most of the fish on was this little Ned shaky head. It's a little zoom finesse worm on there with a, this is six ounce Wu tungsten Ned head, wide gap Ned head, so I can throw it in the trees. That works really good this time of year. You can just pop it down. A lot of times, more than often, they bite it on the fall. So you throw it in there, let it sit for a few seconds, and then you pick up and they're there a lot of times. But if they don't then, just little slight, little subtle pops, pulling it along the bottom, it usually does the trick then. And that setup, this is a seven foot medium titanium series Phenom spinning rod. I got, uh, I think that's 30 pound braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Of course, again, I don't have what I was throwing on there. But 
that is pretty much what we did that day it was real hard to feel the lures on the bottom with the wind the way it was if it wasn't for the woo tungsten ned heads and the tungsten's giving off so much more feeling than a normal lead head would that was really key in getting the right feel and feeling those bite now, the chatter bait i mean you're real on that you you feel it fluttering the whole time you can keep in constant contact with that the whole time unlike a light little bait like that little shaky head worm so that woo tungsten ned head was really key on getting and feeling those bites if you want to check out any of these baits, I will link them in the description down below. With all that being said, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, get entered into my giveaway. We're going to be giving away a lure pack as soon as we hit 1,500 subscribers. To be entered into that giveaway, you have to be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and for an extra entry, you can also comment and share to one of your social media pages and tag me in it. Definitely tag me in it or I will not be able to see it and not enter you in for an extra entry. So, with all that being said, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you next Thursday, guys. Tight lines.